Dan Perry here with another C++ tutorial for Dan on Tech. In this video, we will look at comparing characters. Now, we looked before and we saw that we could compare numbers, say, is 3 equal to B, where B would say an integer variable, and that would, the double equal sign says, hey, are they equal to each other? But what if we do, what if we wanted to compare the character, the letter, B, is that equal to the letter C? Can we do that? Or let's say we wanted to compare a character variable, variable storing a character, X, to see if it was equal to a D. Well, yes, we can compare them. Uh, what if... And equality is easy. Is B equal to C? Well, obviously B and C are not equal. Well, what was the value of X? If X, say, had a value at that time of an A, would X be equal to the capital letter D? No. So that would be false. Well, with numbers, we had the ability to see if things were greater than or less than. Greater than or equal to? less than or equal to. Can we do that with characters? And if so, what character is bigger or greater than the other? Another is B greater than C? Is A greater than A? Or is a capital and lowercase a the same? Well, no, they're not. They're different. And in the U.S., we typically use a code called an ASCII table. And here's a part of an ASCII table. And this is a code of representations of the values. <clears throat> Each character is represented by an 8-bit binary value, binary number. Uh, that gives us 256 possible combinations. Not all are characters that are printable. Some are, some are characters or graphics characters, but up to 256. Now, if we're in some of the foreign language character sets, there are even more. There are thousands of characters, especially Japanese and, and Chinese character sets, and that's beyond anything we're going to do here. But this ASCII table, what has happened is it's a code. If you're familiar with Morse code, where we use dots and dashes, where a dot in Morse code, let me get my pen back, a dot in Morse code is the letter E, a dash is the letter T, three dots is an S. <clears throat> That's Morse code, and that was developed for the telegraph, and as long as we know what those combinations are, we don't have a problem with them. We can take those combinations, and if you hear a dot and a dash, you know that's an E and a T. Three dots is an S. Well, we've got the ASCII code is just a computer code representing it, and this is an 8-bit code, so it takes one byte to store each one, and... They're based on what their numerical ASCII or numerical, numerical binary value is. The blank space is a decimal equivalent to a 32. It is a 00100000. If we go over here, a capital A is the, is the binary equivalent of a decimal 65. A lowercase a is a 97. So if I were to compare a capital A and ask if it's greater than or equal to for, well, let's do greater than or equal, do it correctly, to a lowercase a, that would be false because the lowercase a has a larger value. It's 97. So if, you, if I said is a capital A less than a lowercase a, that would be true. Well, in addition to that, the letters, there are numeric values, numbers. There are the other characters on the keyboard. Uh, 
so we've we've got we've got these and if you look at this table that I brought up it's not a complete table there's a gap here between 36 and 65 in that gap there's some special characters there's the 0 through 9 the digits 0 through 9 um, the order is basically you've got a blank space some special characters 0 through 9 some special characters capital letters special characters lowercase letters and some more special characters don't try to memorize it there are plenty of ascii tables you can look up on the internet if you need to know what order what i what i think you do need to remember is th uh, that from small to large that a blank space is the smallest Then we've got 0 through 9, we've got capital A through Z, and then lowercase a through Z, through lowercase z. And by remembering those, if you need to know where a question mark or a dash or a comma comes in, that's when you look up in the ASCII table. Don't try and memorize those. <clears throat> So from this, we do know that a capital Z is actually less than a lowercase z. And where this would come into play is if we're trying to sort. Think about alphabetizing information. If we need to sort or alphabetize letters and numbers, uh, or, or letters and words, strings, then we need to know what order they come in. We will see in future videos how to use this comparison. Well, thank you for watching this Dan on Tech video. Please subscribe to this playlist so you don't miss future videos. Please check out and subscribe to our other Dan on Tech channel playlists as well.